Ze hayom asa Adonai nagila venismecha bo. This is a day that God has given us. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I am so deeply honored to stand before you as the next senior vice president of the Union for Reform Judaism. I grew up in this movement. My father was the president of a small congregation. My mother became a bat mitzvah as an adult during Sisterhood Shabbat. My brother was the founder of our temple youth group, and I met my wife at Eisner. When I was regional social action vice president for Nifty, I remember coming just miles from here to the Religious Action Center of Reform Judaism where I heard the prophetic call of our tradition calling us to do justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with our God. And that voice thundered down from above from none other than Al Vorsban, the Vice President of the Union of American Hebrew Congregations. I could only imagine then that I would stand before you today and say, Hineni. Listen, Hineni worked for Obama, so... Can I get a Hineni? All right. I am so honored to take my place in the line of greats. Among others, Al Vorspan, Alex Schindler, Eric Yaffe, Lenny Thal, and my beloved colleague, Dan Freelander. Where's Danny? Danny has been inspiring me and all of us with his music and his leadership since my youth, and I'm honored to stand with him. Indeed, Hineni, thank you, Rabbi Rick Jacobs, our visionary new president, for issuing this call to me to serve the reform movement, and to Peter Widehorn, who I wish we could be with us, and Steve Sachs, and to all of the URJ board for your election, Hineni. Now, on the eve of his retirement, Rabbi Eric Yaffe, where is Eric? Rabbi Yaffe, in a visionary act of leadership on the eve of his retirement, has called upon us for a massive, movement-wide campaign for youth engagement. And Rabbi Jacobs has declared this campaign priority number one. Now, in a few moments, my friends, I will call for unanimous adoption of a historic resolution ratifying the campaign for youth engagement. So let's take a moment and reflect on what's at stake. I need some friends from Nifty to join me here on the stage. Let's celebrate our leadership. Who was not electrified when President Obama gave a shout out to Nifty and brought the house down? Come stand with me. We stand with you, you stand with me. Okay. All right, we're going we're gonna, to, first of all, in addition to celebrating all of our Niftyites, now a lot of them have already head to the airports. They've already head home because you know what they have? Everybody say finals. <laughs> you guys okay? All right, we're going to keep you going a little bit longer. So in order to understand what is at stake for this campaign for youth engagement, we need to be honest. Okay, so Nathaniel... I'm going to ask you to do something metaphoric. We have our wonderful young people here. Let them be a metaphor for all our young people, okay? So some of our young people never even come through the doors of our congregations. So Nati, right? Is that you go by Nati? I'm going to ask you to go take your place off stage, okay? Nati represents those young people we never even engage. Now, let's pretend I have, do I have five? Yeah, I got five of my friends up here, okay? Let's pretend they're the graduating uh, bar, bar and bat mitzvah, well, I guess it's just a bat mitzvah class. We got all girls. I feel like I'm at home. I got four daughters. I'm at home. So this is the bat mitzvah class here at Temple URJ. We've all celebrated our benot mitzvah. And I'm going to ask Miriam and Alana, Alana, to leave the stage because they just dropped out. And now we're at confirmation. 
And Mazel Tov, it was a wonderful confirmation. And Danielle and Davia, can you guys please take the exit? Will you leave the stage? We're now at high school graduation. And Aaron is all we have left. By the time our 12th graders graduate college, 80% have left our congregations and communities. And we may not see them again until they have children of their own or at all. There's one in five left. Do we want to bring them back? Do you want to bring them back? Do you want to bring them back? What? I hope they'll come. Will you come back? Please, please come back. Where are my friends from Nifty? Come back, come back, come back. Okay, now we've been honest. And we, want, we know we want to bring them back, so we're going to bring them back. So we're going to stand together. We're going to stand together with our young people, these incredible leaders of our youth movement. But we're not going to stand alone with them. We're going to stand as the adult community together with them. So what we need to do that is nothing less than a campaign. If we're serious, we can't just do another program or another initiative. We need a massive mobilization, a focused and strategic effort to ensure that the full strength and talent of every corner of our movement, rabbis, cantors, educators, youth workers, camp workers, parents, teens, and more, to make sure that we succeed, that by the year 2020, we will engage the majority of our young people. So let me bring our team, our leadership team, the vision team for the Campaign for Youth Engagement. Will you join us and stand together on stage? My friends, what you need to know about this group of 60 leaders, they represent the breadth and depth of our movement. Every constituent arm and partner of Reform Judaism is represented either on this stage or by the vision team. Every geography across North America, small congregations, large congregations, young people and older people, synagogue professionals, lay leaders, all in an incredible team of vision. And here's what they did with us. In the year that just passed, they fanned out across North America and conducted more than 1,000 conversations in your congregations and institutions and asked at a grassroots level, what will it take for us, for us to succeed and bring them back? What would it take to change the culture of Reform Judaism so that bar and bat mitzvah becomes an entrance and not an exit? And we learned a great deal from hearing your voices. We learned about what the URJ needs to commit to, and we heard what we all need to commit to. So let me begin first with our commitments, what the URJ is committing to do. First of all, show me the money. Everybody say money. money. This will not be an unfunded mandate. Thanks to all of you, who generously gave money to honor Eric Yaffe and the legacy of his leadership for our movement. And thanks to the women of Reform Judaism and the estate of Rabbi Dick Sternberger and the newly established John Chevelle Fund, today, even before we have officially ratified this campaign and launched publicly, even before we have begun, we have already raised more than $1 million for this campaign. <laughs> And we know that is just the beginning. There is an enormous amount of resource and creativity. We will go out into the field and join with you in raising significantly more funding to make this dream a reality. Second, everybody say talent. talent. We will deliver the talent. We are committing to enhancing and supporting the wonderful frontline Nifty and other youth professional staff we already have. We will add more staff, we will do more training, we will offer more mentoring, we will do more support, we will have full-time youth professionals across North America, and we will deliver to our movement the very best youth professionals that we can imagine that our young people deserve.
And to hold us accountable to that goal, we launched an international search to bring in a seasoned, experienced professional who has a track record at recruiting the very top talent and mentoring and training them and succeeding in engaging teams. And it is my pleasure to introduce you to our next Director for Youth Engagement, Rabbi Bradley Solmson. Many of you already know Bradley because he grew up in a reform congregation. He was a teacher and a trainer with Nifty. And then he went off to Brandeis University where he built one of the most effective teen engagement strategies in our North American community, engaging thousands and thousands of young people over the course of his decade there. And we are thrilled to have Bradley back home here at the URJ. Everybody say camp. Yeah. Who went to camp? Who's got a kid at camp? Who loves camp? We commit to you that in the years ahead, we are going to expand our camping system by expanding existing camps or by founding new camps and make sure that in the next few years, 3,000 more young people will attend URJ camps. And finally, we at the URJ are making this public commitment to invest in you. We have raised all this money, not just to build up our own staff, but to invest in you. In the months ahead, we will announce the opportunity to provide challenge grants for local innovation. We invite you to go home to convene conversations with your rabbis and educators and cantors and youth workers and lay leaders and synagogue professionals and parents and teens to collectively imagine what we could do at home to put a stop in the revolving door, how we can locally bring them back into our congregations and then reach out to us Give us your best thinking. Challenge us to fund and invest in and pay for your work. And if you can dream it, we will build it together. We will change the culture of our congregations. So, the URJ is committing finding talent, funding programs, and investing in you. That's what we commit to now here's what we're asking of you. Are you with me? Are you with me? Well, we'll see because in a moment, we are going to vote on the resolution which you now see before you. This is a resolution that was sponsored by over 45 congregations across North America and those congregations who were furious with us because they missed the deadline and wanted to endorse it as well. It is sponsored by 11 constituent partners of the Reform Jewish Movement and committees of the URJ, including NIFTI. I have no doubt that it will pass. But before you vote, the real question is this. Not whether you will support this resolution. The real question, is this your campaign. So before we vote, let's take a minute and watch a video and hear an answer from our Nifty leaders. This is my campaign. 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 Adults can provide us with inspiring situations to follow our dreams. Reform Judaism is important to me because it allows me to meet Jews from all over the world and to break out of my shell. During my freshman year, I stopped all Jewish activities and I never thought I'd be involved again. If it weren't for the existence of Nifty, I would still be not doing anything Jewish. Reform Judaism is very important to me as it has given me a really strong moral and ethical center around which I can base all my actions in life. Adults can get youth more involved in Judaism by bestowing tradition in their family and in their everyday lives. Adults can help, help us by getting to know us. I really appreciate the connections we share as a faith and 
Reform Judaism, I think, helps to build that. Being a Reform Jewish teen is important to me because it's allowed me to become an independent thinker and a leader and an adult, and I wish it for everyone in the world. I believe adults can help um, kids in youth group by teaching them how to be strong in temple life. My campaign is uh, getting adults to help teens change the world uh, by recognizing our potential and the potential of our peers to be amazing. This is my campaign. 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 We have heard the call of hundreds of our young people, one after the other, say, this is my campaign. They are not willing to be the outliers who continue to engage in Jewish life. As the years after Bar and Bat Mitzvah passed, they are in a long-term campaign to become the vibrant teen community that is at the center of the Jewish community. They call to us, this is my campaign. This is our campaign. Is this your campaign? We have heard 1,000 voices in conversation of parents and grandparents, Jewish professionals and clergy, congregational leaders all crying out, we must act and act now to make sure that bar and bat mitzvah is an entrance, not an exit, and they are calling to us. This is my campaign. This is our campaign. Is this your campaign? My friends, here's the truth. We can't succeed unless everyone in this room makes this our personal campaign and asks the question how we as leaders in our communities and congregations are going to make this vision a reality because ultimately there will only be true transformation, real change when our local congregations and communities, yours and mine, succeed in capturing their imagination and become the vibrant, dynamic center of Jewish life. So I ask you one last time, will you make this your campaign? Will you join us in this grassroots movement to transform our congregations and institutions to become the compelling communities and meaning and purpose that will engage our young people today, tomorrow, and beyond? Will you join us to make sure that our children and our children's children will say of us, we were the generation that captured the imagination of our young people and inspired them to engage more deeply in Jewish life. Will you join us and make this your campaign? I don't believe you. I, I won't believe you until you stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up for our young people. I love you guys. And so, Mr. Chairman, I now call for unanimous acceptance of the resolution ratifying the campaign for youth engagement. All in favor, say amen. No, no. Amen. We need an amen. We need an amen. The amens have it. It's adopted. <laughs>